What is up, my fellow interwebians? I am Logan, the Totally Epic Gamer, and I'm showing you where to get your first Age Gritum. So back there, right there, is um, just to the left of Solitude, is a shrine. Now this shrine will ask you to go get a beacon for you. This beacon differs in areas. I had to go all the way over to Certain Serpent Bluff, which was the uh, very far left campsite I showed you, and um, that's where I had to go for mine. Uh, apparently it differs for each one. Sometimes it's in the Hall of the Vigil Vigil Vigilant, and sometimes not. So um, this is me actually going through the place. I wanted to see how hard it was, and I figured I'd uh, I'd film me going through it. That's why it's so sped up. It's sped up, um, I think, three times. So what you do is you go through this place and basically try and re you know reignite uh, Melindra's you know pedestals, and you want her light to beam through these catacombs because the necromancer has taken over. Um, so that's the whole backstory here. Now, uh, Melindra's actually a daedric. Um, that's something you don't really know, but she's, you know, she's a daedric god, it seems like. She gives you daedric items just like, she, um, they would have in the, uh, previous games. And, uh, these corrupted shades are pretty easy, um, I'm, I'm kind of being a noob on them, I'm just trying to get through them fast. Uh, I'm just trying to get extra loot as well. Um, it was pretty easy going through this place. Corrupted Shades were, they were kind of a joke, you know, they weren't like super hard, they, they were about level of bandits. Um, the hard part actually comes at the end. I actually died and I left it in. I was thinking about maybe I'll just take out the death and claim, you know, some sort of crap like, uh, oh, that part of the file got corrupted, so I used my, no, I died. Um, I got screwed up, uh, very last guy, he's a necromancer, and what he does is he's a frost necro at the very beginning. He throws off his, he does like ice bolts, regular ice bolts just like other people throw at you, you'd probably be used to them by now. Uh, but then he throws an ice ball, kind of reminds me of the Diablo 2 ice ball that the frost orcs have. And what happens if you get caught in that um, area, it starts doing damage and damage and damage and if you just stand in it, you're dead. It pretty quickly, like he, it doesn't take long for it to kill you. Um, the other thing that happens is when you kill him, you may think, okay, I'm good, I'm safe, alright, now let's loot his body, do all those things. What happens is a shade now comes out, and this shade does fire damage now. So if you had maybe a frost potion on, or a fire potion on, or a, a frost potion or a fire, yeah, frost potion or frost equipment on, change it for fire equipment if you have it, or fire resistance for potions. Um, so this is, it's still the same thing. It's actually a pretty long dungeon part. It's uh, three different parts. You do one part, which is uh, just the runes, and then the next part is runes again, but different set. And then what you do after that is you go into the crypt, which is actually that door right there. Um, but you don't get to go into it until you've absolutely uh, set up all of these pedestals. Uh, it seems like the shades don't take too much damage from... Uh, they, they seem to take, you know, they're, they're regular undead. They don't take too much damage from anything but um, fire magic. Uh, it seems to do quite a lot of damage to them. And also, if you do uh, turn undead or something like that. The loot in here was actually pretty good if you just noticed that I got an uh, ebony helmet, which is obviously pretty good. And um, what you do is, right here I kind of screwed up, I didn't realize, but, um, oh, it seems to be lagging a little bit here. It started lagging there a little bit, so I kind of restarted, but you didn't miss anything, don't worry. And so what you do is, um, I thought I had done, but there's a door that opens up that it's, uh, it's kind of late to open up. So what you do is run, run through the part, um, when you get to the pedestal part again, if you just look to the right there, right there, I just ran through it now, um, uh, it's hard to notice at first, it doesn't really make a sound or anything, so, uh, I kind of skipped over it, hopefully it won't skip over it. Um, so this is place, all you have to do is run through it, um, pretty simple, uh, you know, still nothing too difficult. The flames will actually do magic damage to you, that's why I was taking damage right there, uh, it's not the actual... The beam won't do actual health damage, but it'll take down your magicka, which kind of sucks. And so this is the very final one. This is my first run through it of it. I, I thought I was, you know, super pro boss. Here I go trying to take him on, you know, head to head. Let's just do this. Let's smash up everybody. And here he goes. That's the ice ball. It pretty much killed me instantly. Uh, you don't want to get hit by it. And so I take a more, you know, conservative approach this time. And uh, try and just, you know, sneak attack for the first little bit, get him down a little bit, and now I have all these shades to deal with, but at least the shades aren't probably too bad. I used um, Fire Breath right there, if you didn't notice that was my shout, and to fi uh, fight him, I also used Fire Breath, because Fire Breath will make him stutter. Um, right there, I nearly missed that. Uh, he actually hit me right there and did huge damage. Um, so that was the thing that hit me, and uh, wow, you do not want to get hit by it. So what I did was, um, 
yeah, he just gets hurt right there. And uh, you, it works on his shade as well. Um, right, and so right here, so I went to go loot his body, and he just ju the shade just jumps you. So what I did was kind of wait for my shout and uh, try and pick him off a little bit. And once I got my shout up, or um, I potted first because he does mad damage. He does, this guy does lightning and fire. I, I forgot about the lightning part. Uh, the lightning pretty much hits you all the time, which kind of sucks. So I just did that, and then just went to town on him, and you should be good. They're, they're pretty weak to the uh, whole just straight up attack. Um, so it's not too bad. And that's uh, Meridia just saying, yo, take this Dawnbreaker. And so this is the very first danger item I ever got. Dawnbreaker does 10 fire damage, a um, little bit better than elven weapons, and also makes undead explode. So that's all, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something. Peace out.